everybody. How are you doing? Okay. So today is going to be a soft spoken ramble with some ear to ear as well. And I'm going to be talking about journals and journaling in general. So basically I've been journaling since I think 8th or ninth grade, off and on. I have lost my first journal between all of the moving that I've done, so that's sad, but I have all the other ones. So I have all of my journals here with me, and so I'm going to talk about styles of journaling and how I journal, and I'm also going to be making some sounds um, a little later in the video with some of the um, journals that I've chosen because of their textures and things. So I guess the f earliest journal that I have is, um, this is my second journal. This is from 10th grade. Um, see, I put the date of how much time it took. I put 926 until 43, but I don't put the year. So this is 2006 to 2007, I think. Um, you'll notice it's really thin. It was already thin to start with, but when I realized I only had you know, a few pages left, I decided to go out and buy another journal. I was so excited about the new journal that when I realized that, you know, it looked like a few pages left, but actually it could have been like a couple weeks more, I ripped out the pages so I could move on to the next one, which kind of defeats the purpose of finishing a journal. Um, so I think the one that came after that was this one. Um, this is from Borders, when Borders still existed, so it's kind of old. Um, so it just has some nice little birds on it. Well, just one bird here. It has a nice kind of, it has a nice kind of canvas feel to it. I'm gonna be using this one later for sounds. It has um, a band to keep it together. So inside this one, I thing is I went back and forth with this a lot used to have a bad habit of, um, like if I'd written about a crush or something and it ended up not working out, I would feel angry and embarrassed. So I would, um, rip out the pages of things that I'd written about that I decided I didn't want to remember. Although later I wish I had it because it would have been enlightening to know what I went through which is actually one of the big reasons why I journal in the first place. So I can remember, because I can remember a lot of things, but I miss a lot of the day-to-day -day and the general how I was, so I'm pretty sure this one started probably, well, it says it started in 2011, but I don't think that that's actually when it started, because there are a lot of pages ripped out. Um, this one also continued on because I think I decided to fill it up and so I started again and so I have some cards that people sent me. I also do use these journals to vent and so there's some big angry lettering there. Um, I'll, I'll bring that one back for sounds later. Um, I think and the same time was when I had this one. So, this one. These ones are actually pretty nice. The brand is called Paper Blanks. The thing is, um, they use wide ruled lines. So, <laughs> and all of them are that way, and I don't like wide ruled, but this one was a gift, so I made sure to use it. It has a red bookmark. This one also has cards in it. I think I have a hospital band in here at some point. Um, somewhere in here, pretty sure. 
maybe not. Okay, well, I have these two journals that are unfinished. This one is unfinished because it has prompts for every page. Like, something that touched my heart. Something good. lesson learned, challenges, and thoughts for the day, and you get a page and a half to write about your day. So, the thing is, I like freedom, so I only have a few entries in that one. And this other one, oh, I'm so mad about this one because it's beautiful, and it's handmade and hand-dried, and the paper is like, you know, that thick, canvassy, handmade paper and I wasted it by with all these ridiculous drawings and words and taking up entire pages with like seven lines because it has no lines in it so I tended to it's so sad because it's a beautiful amazing journal and it got filled up with BS <laughs> um but you know at least I had fun doing it so that's good I did have fun with that friend. Um, oh, I have these two journals which are also unfinished. Um, so, this one was mostly to scribble down ideas and lists of, for like shopping lists or lists for um, traveling. I think it makes nice noises as well. So I'll be using this one later. It's not full, it just has a bunch of weird stuff in it, like drawings and things. Um, this one's kind of similar. It's because this one is wide ruled that I ended up not filling it up, but maybe I'll fill it up at some point anyway. This one has a lot of pages that have been ripped out. Like, a lot of pages have been ripped out. So, a lot of them have scribbles. I have some things where I was trying to track my sleep patterns, but most of it's empty. So maybe I'll finish that one at some point. What's next? Okay. I think the next one is this one. Um, aesthetically, this one is my favorite. It's this hardcover, leather-bound journal with this little owl embedded into it. If you've been following me for a while, then you've probably seen this, or if you've um, watched any of my older videos, like my tap bitty tap video. And so this one also has some nice sounds. But I like this one the best because it actually looks like a book, like a real book of my life. And it has about a year's worth of my life. It starts. July 30th, 2012, and it ends June 3rd, 2013, so that's almost a year. It's unfortunate that this one is actually really sad to read as well. I was really depressed during this period of time, and for some time after. So, I think the next journal I get, I want it to be a hardcover like this as well. But hopefully it'll have happier stuff in it. So I'll bring that one back later for sounds. The one after that one. Oh, and that journal was bought at Barnes & Noble. They have some really great um, hardcover, and not just hardcover, but they have like lots of leather bound journals, which are really cool. And they have other ones. They have ones that are made entirely out of plant material. Um, they also just have normal journals, you know, like these ones where it just has normal book materials and soft covers and things. This one is also from Burns and Noble. It's also leather bound. I really liked this one because it made me feel like a princess, or it reminded me of like what would look like the diary of um, the queen from Snow White with the heart and everything. So that was really cool. 
has bold edges and a goldish bookmark. So this one started June 4th, 2013. And the last entry was um April 17th, 2014. So that was almost a year as well. And this one? This one has a mixture of happy and sad, so this one's a little happier. That one's cool. And that brings me to my current journal, which looks like this. And it has roses on it. I know it looks really beat up, but it's the kind of leather that is meant to beat up. You know, like where it's very easy to like make scratch lines and things. And it has a little thing to keep it closed. And the bookmark as well. This one I started April 18th, 2014. And I'm not done with it yet. The last time I wrote in it was yesterday. And I'm gonna write more today. So, basically, all of these journals have been um, just long form writing where I write about my day or I vent, you know, or I just talk about things. And I always liked those journals that had, um, you know, kind of a scrapbook feel. Things were taped in and they had doodles and stuff on the side. I always thought that it looked really cool. So, um, recently I, I decided that, um, to figure out what style I wanted and how I wanted to do it, I needed to find some inspiration. So I ended up finding my way to Pinterest, which I made a Pinterest account a long time ago, but I don't really use it. But now I've been looking at it to get ideas for journaling. And so, for example, I taped in a movie ticket here. And so finally, just a couple days ago, I decided to finally try my hand at the scrapbook style. So this is my first page that I made this. So it has new goals. And my first goal was to start cooking again. And so this right here is a receipt of some of the ingredients I bought for dinner that night. And you can open it. And unfold it. I'm not going to show you because it has my area on it. I'll tie it up again in a sec. And in this case, I used watercolors and for these dots and masking tape for this part. Because my second goal is to take responsibility. Because um, in a way that I'm capable of making my own decisions, I don't need to constantly ask other people's um, opinion reassurance. Like I can do that, but um, I don't have to depend on that or have other people take over things for me because I'm. I don't know, avoiding it, doing things myself. So, um, I actually already had some things to use for, um, decorating the pages. Um, I already had these, which are, um, kind of like little thin cardboard pieces of black and brown. So they have things like this one, looks like this. Every piece has them both in black and brown, so, um, this one, oh, I don't remember how much those were, I bought them months ago, like in January or December, but I got them from Michael's, so they probably weren't too expensive. Um, I've also been using, well, I haven't used them much yet, but I will, but I have these, um, woodless colored pencils, and I'm not being... I'm not being sponsored or anything. I just wanted to show off some stuff. So, basically what these pencils are about is you know how when you're, um, you have pencils, whether they're colored or just normal lead, and you sharpen them, but then if the point breaks off, like the middle part is the important part so that everything can be sharp except for the point you need. Well, 
these basically try to fix that where the entire inside is the colored pencil part so even as it gets dull it just you're gonna keep using the color and as you it just has a kind of shiny laminate on it um, laminate or whatever um so that's pretty cool i have those that i'm gonna use i already had those i bought them a few years ago also um i really like the kind of like cardboard style aesthetic like with these things and little envelopes and things i'm actually in a second i'm going to show you some pinterest things that i've pinned but you know have this kind of string as well that's pretty cool so the last thing i have is i have these watercolors that i got at target some time ago and they're pretty decent i like them So they have the greens, the grays, and the blacks. Let me go to more greens, bright greens, blues here. Let me get onto reds and pinks, and purples, and dark pinks, and browns, and oranges, and yellows, and Well, not peach, but what's the word I'm looking for? Like honey colors? Those were at Target. I don't remember how much they were worth. They probably weren't too expensive. It was probably less than 20 or $15. So less than that. Before I move on to, sh to making sounds with the journals, I wanted to show you guys some of the things that I've pinned. This one is cool. This person did their weekend texts, and so they did like the iPhone style texting thing, where they're the white ones and the other people are the blue ones. And they did that, like they would label the day and everything, and they would say who would spy. So that's pretty cool. I like that one. This one has like flower pressed into it and some kind of fancy letters. This one's actually in Spanish. They have like stamps, and they decided to split the page into two columns, which visually looks very nice. And they have this kind of like border on the side. Which I think there's like fabric tape that you can use for that. Um, or, or just paper, craft paper. This person. Oh, come on. This person decided to do. They drew up boxes for each day of the month and wrote some stuff in there. Which reminds me, I forgot to show you guys this other journal. This one's called One Line a Day, a five-year memory book, and basically it has five spaces for each of the years, and you write in the year in these corners, and the top will have the, the top will have the date, like that. And so I've already been doing it since, like, January of last year, so I've been, I'm about one and a half years in. Which is really cool when you get to start comparing to last year and seeing any similarities or patterns. Like, apparently mid-Februarys have been kind of rough for me. And I tend to get very creative starting around May. So that's kind of interesting. Um, anyway, back to the Pinterest things. And this is the kind of style I like where they basically have like a three ring binder that they can just hole punch anything into. So. This person actually has like a, it's not a real butterfly, it's like a craft butterfly thrown in there and they have like magazine cutouts and words thrown in there. This one's really nice. I like the, the cardboard aesthetic as I said. So they just have a couple photos a day and they do a list. Um, and it looks like it was written on a typewriter or at least printed out in something that looks that way. And so they have that for the entire month or whatever they want to. Um, count. This one's pretty cool. I like the style of like overstuffed things because you fill them up with cool objects. Um, this one's cool. It has these interesting pins on the side. I like this. This person divides up their days into little blocks like this. And so they write in things and they have doodles and um, little stickers taped in and stuff like that. This person just has like a, I think it's a calendar or a planner or agenda 
and they just make it look kind of cool. Um, this one's cool. This is more of a travel journal. So, it has pictures and words on the cardboard style and a bunch of things like itineraries and receipts kind of shoved in with pins and stickers and things. This one is again a, a binder style where they have, um, like comics they printed out and they tore out a book page apparently and took photos and they have different a combination of solid print and um, colored and patterned prints. This one again goes with that style of the pictures and the three ring binder and collages and they actually have tabs on the side. So that's pretty cool. This one I'm not sure if they've added a book page or if they just turned a book into their journal but they've altered it and things. So. This one is called a smash book. It's a brand that comes with a lot of things to help you make overflowing books like this where they have like little envelopes you can stick in so you can put in little mementos, I guess, and little smash pads, just like a notepad so you can stick things right in there. They have fabric tape, like, you know, like it's like tape on one side but then it's like kind of textured canvasy on the other side. It's for borders and for taping in pictures and for decorations and things like that. I've seen a few people use those. This one's kind of nice. I know it looks blue, but this is actually a brown cardboard, and so they just have some photos thrown in and some really nice handwriting, and I like that. This one again goes with the binder idea. They have a Polaroid style picture and just some writing. Um, I don't know, this is really cool. Like I said, I like the idea of um, them being overflowed with items. This one's cool. This one has stickers and doodles and they drew a lot of big words. This one, they have like a page a day and they put in stickers and they draw things with pens and colored pencils and they taped in like a world map thing here. This one's a similar idea. Um, you know, writing doodles. Um, and this is the last one I want to show you. It's again like brown cardboard and they folded it so they're like little files so when you open up there's writing. Anyway, that's the last one I'm going to show you. So now I'm going to end the video with some sounds with the journals. Okay? Okay, I have one more journal I forgot to show you. Um, this one's one of those things that are made out of all natural. So this is like seed pods and it's things like that. It actually makes nice sounds. And the paper is handmade, so it's very thick and very rough. And I haven't used this one much yet. When you write in pencil, it's hard to see, so I might write in it with pen at some point. That one's cool. I'll make sounds with that one. So I'm gonna start with this one. It makes very nice squishy sounds. Give some of the right side some love because I've been a lot in the left ear. gonna do a few sounds with each journal, if that's okay. So the next one will be this one. I know it looks like a snake skin kind of, but I promise it's seed pods.
of these sounds to come back, just let me know. And I can do when that's less talking and more sounds. So the next one will be this one. I'm going to end the video, okay? Okay.